Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 demo, of course. This will be our final run, our third and final run. This time we are running on the Xbox One X. We've done Steam, we've done the PlayStation 4 Pro, and now we're going to do the X. Uh, PlayStation, f uh, our first run, we kind of just had a quick taste on the PC, uh, I was running on less than optimal settings, so when we actually come to our actual Let's Play, we will have to tweak settings to get that silky smooth uh, 60 frames a second. We were almost there, but we had a few dips here and there. Um, then we ran the PlayStation 4 Pro version, and we actually managed to get through the entire demo in 25 minutes, I believe it was. Let's see if we could do better here. We did find the key, uh, the spade key, I think it was, which was cool, but there was one door that, that we can actually potentially open, so let's try and open that. We're going to grab the spade key, and we're not going to bother seeing Marvin again. Now, one thing that I thought was quite interesting, actually, just low, like I cold booted my PlayStation 4 and my Xbox One. And it was interesting just to see how how sluggy the Xbox is, uh, the operating system, in comparison to the PlayStation. The PlayStation, you turn it on, it loads up, and then you're fine. On the Xbox, you turn it on, you load it up, and it's still crunching and thinking and loading. And the interface is very sluggy until it actually gets, uh, gets loaded up. I mean, it's just basically a Windows 10 PC, really. Um, anyway, let's get into it. All right, let's just have a look. Hello? Visual differences. Is anybody here? Kind of looks the same as the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, to be honest. We don't really need to see that, I don't think. I don't think we need to see that to continue. There was some bullets up here. Let's go grab those. We're going to like be skipping cutscenes where possible because we don't need to see them again. Actually, you know, I, I think the One X looks like... I can almost tell the lighting is a little bit cleaner. Very nice. It's subtle, but... There's something a little bit nicer about it. Now, frame rate, I was very impressed with the Pro. It was really, really nice. Uh, no issues at all. Now, definitely can tell the difference between these consoles and the PC. But, as I said on the Pro, I, I don't think it's for the reasons you might think. I think because there's a lot of uh, post-processing going on here with, like, film grain and uh, chromatic uh, abbreviation. Is that what they call it? Chromatic aberration? I can't remember what they call it now, but it makes uh, makes everything look a little bit blurry. Now, on the PC, you can turn all that dog shit off, but you're kind of stuck with it on the consoles. They seem to spend all this time... Now, this is one thing that I've always said. They spend all this time making a beautiful game world um, these days, and this game is gorgeous. And then they fuzz it up with all these stupid filters. Which I really don't like. I always hated film grain in uh, in games. Can we? We can skip that. Nice. I always hated that. There's no need for it. Like film grain and lens flare and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, guess what? We're not actually we're not actually playing a film. We're actually playing a game, so we don't need film grain and all that monkey business going on. Uh, I'm sure there was something in here that we wanted to pick up. So like bullets here. Yeah. Give me those bullets, bro. Cheers, buddy. I need them more than you do. I'm wondering if the ammo pickup is RNG slightly because I think I think we actually have a few more bullets than we did on the Xbox uh, on the PlayStation. Which is interesting. I don't mind that. I like a bit of RNG with your pickups. Uh, we didn't go in here on our last PlayStation run, but the only thing that's in here is an F8 spray, which we might as well take. Ooh, no smoking. I'm not allowed to smoke in here. I'm not allowed to do much in here, but look at things. Even one of the shitters is out. I'm guessing there's a lack of maintenance going on here. But yeah, holy hell though. This game is so good looking. Open up. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Can we shoot this guy? We can, but nothing happens. Alright, my man. I'm a coming. Yeah, we'll get you out. Uh, yeah, skip, 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 close. Right, come to Papa. Or maybe not. There we go. Come to Daddy. Let's see if we can actually get some good shots on this guy. There we go. Come on, another one in the dome should send him to zombie heaven. There we go. Nice! Ooh. Ooh, I don't think he's done yet. No matter. Let's just avoid these guys if we can. Yeah, they are certainly everywhere, Leon. Don't you worry about it. Oh, God. That is awful accuracy on my part. There we go. Reload. Alright, drop those two guys. That's fine. Now we've got the big, big fellow in here. Whoa, see that? We had like a weird frame dip thing happen there. Right, you're done. Ooh, evening. Excuse me. Uh, buddy, can you not like dangle your head around? This is serious business here, my friend. I'm trying to kill you. There we go. You know, the aiming, as I said, like, um, I do prefer... I do massively prefer mouse and keyboard, but the aiming actually on the control pad is really quite nice. They have done a nice little job of that. Right, what have we got here? Ah, okay. So we've got two doors here, but I don't think we can go into... No, we can't go into either of those. Which is a sad face. Let's skip. Does anyone know what started this? I know what started this. I know exactly what started this, my friend. How... Oh. I sh probably shouldn't have mm, skipped that. Whoa. Okay. Didn't pick it up. There we go. We got it now. We got it now. That's all that matters. All right, Will Smith. I'll see you a little bit later on, my good dude. Now, we did actually see the liquor run across a window in the last playthrough, but it wasn't in the same place as it is in the original game. This is not how I Leon, my friend, we've been over this, okay? Your day could have been boring and drab, but here we are, killing zombies. Uh, so, what's not to like, miserable bastard? We will grab the herb, because why not? Some people don't realise that they're having a good time until the good time is over. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, camera effects going on here that you can't turn off on the console. And it's not good. I don't like it. Right. Definitely am a fan of turning all that crap off. Come on, buddy. Boop. And he doesn't have anything for us either. Which is a bit disappointing. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. You know what did that? One of our BFFs did that. One of our BFFs that we don't sadly get to find in the demo. Which is a little bit of a shame. Shame we can't search any of this stuff. Like, read a little bit more flavor text. There is flavor text to read in this. Hello. Now, I wonder... What the? Yeah, we can actually shoot through. Oh, -ho! crit. Sit down. Now, nah, he's not going to bother us. I hope. Right, give me that. Now, there was bullets up here, too. You'll have them. Because why the fuck knuckle not? Now we can't go through there. Which is a shame. I really would like them to go back and remake Resident Evil 1. Um, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make safety 
out uh, of the civilians as top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. Uh, one of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe it was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Uh-huh. Again, I kind of want to read all this, but I kind of don't, because it takes up valuable time. <clears throat> but, of course, you can always pause it and read it at your own leisure. Alright, we've got that fat zombie through here. Evening, Chief. Ooh, that was a shoulder shot. That was a shit shot. There we go. You know, it's interesting. All these games have tried to, like, emulate the Resident Evil formula over the years. Like, um, Evil Within, etc. Like, Evil Within was... <sighs> It was all right, I guess. Evil Within 2 was massively better. Um, but this. This is just Capcom proving that if when they want to make a game, they can make it better than anybody else. I mean, they practically um, invented the genre anyway, let's be fair. Almost, anyway. I think that's the two. No, or was it one oh nine? There we go. That gives us the bullets. Um, so we can't open that. Can't open. Oh, we can. We can do three, can't we? But we don't really want another knife. It's like no point in that. All right, we'll have the film. I said we'll have the film. Um, we'll have those, and of course, we've got to have our shotgun, I mean, it's illegal not to, let's be honest. Especially as there's one left, Steel Boy. Um, there we go. And we'll take that. Four round capacity, 12 gauge, pump action shotgun. Its sturdy steel action makes it popular model. Reliable and easy to control. Mm-hmm. Slow this bad boy up. We're going to enjoy the shotgun. Evening. Ooh, you're a bit of a quick one. No Leon snacks for you, buddy. Oh, God. Okay, maybe there is Leon snacks for you. Hang on. Um, oh, God. They're all coming in. They're all coming in today. Leon, it's fine. It's not fine. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, he was a tough boy. So it looks like we're going to be able to use that about three times before it wears out, which isn't too bad. And again, if anyone wants to read this. It appears that the keys to the locker terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else fuck it up this bad? Who else would fuck it up this badly? Hmm. Surely it would work without the keys, though. I mean, come on. Alright, can't go that way. Always get turned around here. Yeah, we've already been here. We need to go to the Leon room. That's where we've just come from. Hello. Alright, Treacle. Cool. I don't think he can actually get through there, to be fair. Which is fine by me. Because he's quite a dick, let's be honest. I mean, zombies are generally quite dickish, to be fair. To be fair, that seems to be my catchphrase. Roll of film. Yep. I wonder how many rolls of film there's going to be. Seems like that's going to be quite the thing in this. Because if you remember back, there was three or four rolls of film in the original. Maybe more, including some super secret ones. Let's get the bullets. There we go. We've got, oh god, we're empty. 
That ain't no good. Oh. There we go. If anyone wants to read that, knock yourselves out. And there's no, like, quick way of getting out of those like there used to be. Ooh, there's some nice flowers there, though. Uh, is there anything we can dump? We don't really need two healing items, to be honest. Uh, we don't need the boards either, to be fair. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't need that herb. Hello right there, Chief. Oh yeah, you will break through eventually, won't you? Like so. Alright, let's deal with this delightful lady. Damn. Officer Hardass in full effect. Holy shit! That is Officer Hardass to the nth degree. Holy crap. Mm, I, yeah, get out. Right. No more Mr. Nice Leon. What? Swallow that, bitch. One for you too, matey. Don't want to have you feeling left out either. Whew. That was pretty mad. She was a tough cookie. Right, let's go eat our herb. Uh. Yeah, use that. There we go. Just a little bit more health. Damn, though. Those zombies. I'm loving the destruction that you can cause as well. Really cool stuff. And that. Always forget about that guy. Can't do nothing with that. Shells. Yes, please. Nothing there. Okay. Right, red herb. Uh, no. Don't need it. We do not need no red herbs. For some reason, I thought I didn't push record then. I was like, holy shit, I fucked everything up. Alright, let's load up the shotgun. Nice. Alright, now we're ready to hunt some Zeds. And we like hunting Zeds. Yes, please. Alright, we're going to grab us this key. But what we're going to do is instead of going through there, let's turn around and go through the other room. the other room had a locked door that we couldn't use. Now, if we carry on going that way, it ends the demo. There's a shutter down there, which is cool. Step over all this rotten meat. Now we need to go back to Leon's office. Which is not there. Now, where was Leon's office? Try and remember now. Uh, safety deposit room still has stuff. It's that one there. There we go. West office. So, we've got some more gunpowder, which we will mix to make some lovely bullets. We need as many bloody bullets as we can get our hands on. Now this is where we find out that actually now what? now what? We shoot him until he falls down, Leon. That's how this shit goes down, buddy. Uh oh. The other one's getting up. At least I thought the other one was getting up. I think he's uh, having a little bit of a sleepy for now. Right, okay, cool. That's just a note. Now I think... Yes! We can indeed go through this door. Oh, that just... is another way of ending the demo. Oh man! There you are. I am disappointed. Take a look. Yes! I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. 
So skip. Ah, oh, that's so lame. Ah, we could have had some fun in the library. Oh, man. Well, that's disappointing. I really hoped, um, I really hoped that was going to be like to another, another room or something, like a little secret area. But, you know, there we go. I guess we've pretty much tapped the, dam the demo out now. I'm sure there's a lot more in it uh, to fill around with. And there's a lot more Easter eggs hidden around, I'm sure. But we're going to have to leave that for the, the full game, I'm afraid. I'm really disappointed. I should have looked on the map before I went through the door. Ah, oh, we still had like another 13 minutes. Well, 12 and a half minutes that we could have uh, that we could have enjoyed. Ah, never mind. Anyway, this is really promising. I would love to see them do um, Dino Crisis like this and Resident Evil 3, which apparently they are rumored to be uh, working on. And and I know it's a dream and it's never going to happen because we got the remake. But I would love to see them redo Resident Evil 1 like this as well. You know, I, this over-the-shoulder view um, works so well for Resident Evil. A lot, There were a lot of doubts, and I kind of had my doubt as well. But it, it really does work uh, very well. And for all the people that said the Resident Evil was like zombies wouldn't work in this, in this way either. Um, they're definitely wrong. Because... The Resident Evil zombies are perfect for this. They feel so good. They don't feel too weak. And as we actually saw on the PlayStation, they actually feel pretty strong because as long as their head is intact, it looks like they can keep getting up. I don't know if there's a set limit to how many times they can get up, but it was quite worrying. Uh, we had a couple that just uh, didn't want to die, put it that way. So... Hmm. And I really want to see a liquor as well, man. I, th they're going to be horrifying. And then you've got the plant monsters as well. And you've got Birkin and Mr. X. Ah, it's going to be good. It's going to be so good. And I can't wait to see what weapons we're going to get as well. Because obviously, I'm guessing we're going to get all the traditional weapons. Um, but they're going to throw in some nice little, uh, nice little Brucey bonuses for us. It'd be nice to see Claire get her six shooter with her cowboy outfit. Although I don't know if her cowboy outfit is in this. We'll find out. What else was there? There was the submachine gun as well. Um, the 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 Magnum, uh, the upgrades as well that we could get for Leon. Uh, Claire's grenade launcher. And her crossbow. Looking forward to the crossbow, actually. Because in the original, the crossbow was a bit of a turkey. It, it was alright-ish. But it definitely wasn't the shotgun. And, of course, uh, Claire got the spark shot as well, which... Uh, was actually... I, it was a better weapon than people give it credit for. But it was so close range. And you never got a lot of ammo for it either. <gasps> the flamethrower as well. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. And the reason that they really need to do um, Resident Evil 1 again is, can you imagine, like, the Spencer Mansion redone in this kind of perspective? Can, can, can you, with hunters coming at you and, and the, the Cyberuses and seeing Neptune? Ah. Oh. Yawn as well. And the plant. Ah, oh, there's so much. Please remake the full trilogy like this, Capcom. Please. You owe us for Resident Evil 6. You owe us for that absolute shit slurry. Uh, and Resident Evil 5. Yes, yeah, so you need to make up a little bit for that as well. Like, Resident Evil 5 is okay. It's like it's kind of like a really weird game that hasn't aged overly well when you go back to it now. Um, I don't want to be punching boulders, okay, and having, like, stupid Matrix fights. Or Matrix-esque fights in Resident Evil. That is not Resident Evil. 
This is Resident Evil. This is like some average Joe thrown into a very extreme situation with a handgun and some herbs in his pocket. Okay, and you're fighting to survive in a in a realistic tone. Yeah, we're not superhero muscly men. Um, yes, this isn't like set in the Marvel universe. I think they always forget that, you know. And then, of course, in Resident Evil 6, they brought in Jake, who was Wesker's... Oh. Jake. Oh, God, the characters in 6 were dreadful. Like, they were actually embarrassing. Remember that motorcycle chase as well? Oh. I, I, I apologize for jogging your memories about that game. I... I I can never apologize enough for that. I've tried my best to forget it. But anyway, hopefully this is a step in the right direction for Resident Evil. I, I'm so excited. I'm almost ready to say Resident Evil is back. When, when Resident Evil 7 came out, I was like, Resident Evil was back on track. We're, we're heading in the right direction, but we're not quite there yet. Now, with this... <sighs> Capcom, you're scoring hard points right now. Like, serious. Would have been nice to see this a decade ago. But, better late than never, eh? Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because I could be gushing about this and speculating about this. Oh, also, the music, the ambience in this is very good. It's very good. It doesn't quite match up to the original. I, I haven't noticed any, like, safe room music yet, which is... That would be a crushing omission if it doesn't, but we do have the option to go back to the original soundtrack anyway. Hmm. Anyway, I really am going to go. So, thanks very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.